And I was out, I was out in the woods with my friends and I was filming and... God. This is how our film began, guys. One man, one camera. Shooting real people. Hey, do you have your camera with you? I'm gonna make a movie about the scary old homeless, roughing it. I just wanna tell your story, whatever that may be. Yeah, you're not the first kids to wander through here with cameras. I haven't seen many come in this far. You gotta be careful. I mean, I can really run, you know, fast. Go that way, something ain't right. Down there, she was busted out by her hillbilly brother. I don't like that. We are not here to get you back on your feet. No, no, don't take my picture! Zach, stop! This is my home. We're free here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Zach! No peeking. I think that we make this as dark and ominous as we possibly can. Oh, that's really weird. But there's something scary about every story that is great. We will melt faces at every film festival that we go to. Four, three, two, one. Go have some fun. Now, will taking my class actually get you to Hollywood? Actually, yes. As we've seen, it very well could. This is Kate Sanderson, horror actress based in the UK. Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. This is actress Nicola Wright from the UK. Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. This is actor Stephanie Lodge from the UK. Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. Hello everyone. Today's episode we're going to talk about a film called Night Shoot in 2024. A one hour and 38 minute horror thriller released April 3rd of this year. Storyline, a college documentary project goes awry when a group of film students stumble on a strange, wooded, homeless community and slowly discover they're being watched. Directed by Taylor Katsanis, written by Taylor Katsanis. Here's the cast. Derek Evans as Zach, Lexia Bailey as Alicia, Taylor Katsanis as Nico, Andrea Fertusa as Olivia, Casey O'Barr as TJ, and Jason Francisco Blue as Officer Malcolm Hodges. And the cast goes on. Folks, here's one that kind of surprised me. Um, I love these um, documentary films that turn into terror. This is a different style of film that I really, really enjoyed. When I watch a movie, and I think about it way after I watched it, you know it made an impression. A bunch of film students were trying to pick a project of what to do for school, for college. Everyone had their own ideas, but Nico, they were driving down a road and he seen this homeless person and it really struck a bell with him. Let's do one about the homeless people. So he followed this one homeless person into the woods. There's a whole community of people living in the woods that are homeless. Interesting, right? I'm pretty sure it, it exists. Well, they decided to do a documentary. But there's one certain person who does not want to be bothered and won't hesitate to kill. Brilliant fucking film. Shot very well. I love the scenery. Great cast. Look, I don't know about you. Um, it's bad enough to go into a homeless community in the woods in the daytime, but going at night? Are you fucking crazy? So they started filming these homeless people, and then it starts to get very hot and popular. Not to, uh, to the audience, but their professor really enjoyed this and wanted more. So Nico gets a brainy idea of doing it at nighttime, as pitching a tent and living there. That's not a good, good idea, and I definitely wouldn't be the one doing that, because, of course, they didn't know at the time, but there is somebody that's not very happy about them being in 
their community. And there's one girl that they talked to that was terrorized by this killer saying, do not let them go near my house. Well, bottom line is they're being stalked by this killer and all the rest is history. Now, once again, so that's the story here. It's really, really badass. I really enjoyed this. I was caught off guard by it. I really enjoyed this one. So definitely check it out. Night Shoot in 2024. Dude, this guy was vicious. There's a scene early in the movie I'm not going to talk about that the guy came into the camp and he said the wrong thing. And this guy's daughter, girlfriend, whatever she is, is fucking crazy. you got to see it. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. Hopefully you will too. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.